I decided I wanted to be a doctor after my A-levels actually. To me, it had a holistic feel about it. It seemed to me both a science as well as an art. I'm generally a general practitioner. I mainly work with elderly in the nursing homes. I like working with the elderly. In the geriatric patient, we also see a, quite a number of osteoporosis related problems. For osteoporosis, this is a known fact that um, especially for women after our menopause, um, our bone density goes way down and one of the preventive measures is actually to take enough calcium in your lifetime to prevent brittle bones. I always, always liked to dance when I was young but because of my studies, I never had the chance to pursue it full time and at that era, our parents didn't think that it was any use dancing anyway. After I became a doctor, um, at some point that I decided I wanted to continue to pursue this other passion as a hobby, you know, as, as, as an outlet. And along the way, I, I discovered flamenco. So I, I took flamenco on well, quite late in life, um, I would say about 10 years ago. I find flamenco unusual um, being that it's a very personal and emotive dance and a true interpretation of a flamenco dance is a personal uh, expression. Flamenco is physically demanding. You have to learn how to raise your body, work from the centre a lot, use your arms and then you have to learn how to use your feet and doing footwork and the footwork is grounded like the Kathak dancers, like the Indian dancers so you need a lot of centre and you need stamina and strength I met Antonio actually about 8 to 9 years ago he inspired my love or my passion for, for this art form and of course now that we, um, we formed a family and we actually formed a company in the studio Los Rantos and also um, a non-profit dance theatre company that we're trying to build up called Flamenco Sin Fronteras where he's the artistic director. When Antonio first met me, he didn't believe I was a doctor especially I had this little tattoo at the back here which he saw him. He said, are you sure she's a doctor? <laughs> I think the public's conception that doctors can't do anything else except doctoring. But for me, it's natural that you, know, that, that, that you could have a, maybe a brainy side to yourself and also an artistic side to yourself. I think the main um, sacrifice is really trying to juggle my time in terms of both managing my family and as well as my career. There are many types of strength. One is physical strength. Um, another important type of strength is uh, mental and emotional strength. And I think that's the strength you need um, internally to overcome your problems, overcome uh, disappointments and hardship. Um, as a woman, strength is also your self-esteem and self-confidence to be able to pursue something that you believe in.
To be able to pursue all our passions in life, we need strong bones. And to make strong bones, we need to take enough calcium. Many people take bone health for granted and all you need is to take two glasses of aniline per day to meet all your calcium needs.